In this video, I will show you how to do basic complex number operations, working with these imaginary number expressions. In many respects, the imaginary unit i is going to work like a variable, like an x or an n. Um, except for, watch out for this. If you run into i squared, that equals negative 1. But that's not happening here. So we're just combining like terms. So 2 plus negative 8 is negative 6. And uh, i minus 6i is negative 5i. So uh, that would be it for part A. Now part B is just a matter of rationalizing the denominator. You can't have an imaginary number in the denominator. That's basically just a rule. So you can fix that by simply multiplying the numerator and denominator by i. If you have a monomial like this, all you have to really do is multiply by i. OK, when things get more complicated, we have to do the conjugate. But that's for a later problem. So in the denominator, this will give me 11i squared. We talked about that a moment ago. Distributing this guy, I would have a 7i minus 2i squared. Now, remembering that i squared is negative 1. And you know what? In the future, I will do this step in my head. But just to be clear, I'm replacing i squared with negative 1. OK, so that is going to give us uh, 7i plus 2. All right, so you can see how the i squared just turns a negative 2 into a positive 2. And uh, the i squared turns the positive 11 into a negative 11. All right, so if you see an i squared, it's just going to change the sign. So um, the final answer. We are to write the i term always second. So this would be the same thing as 2 plus 7i over negative 11. So this is the final answer. For part c, we must first do the distributive property with the negative 3i. So that's going to give us negative 15i. Uh, minus 12i squared. All right, uh, we will also do the distributive property with the negative 3. Please include the negative sign when you do your distributive property. So that's going to be negative 30 minus 6i, because negative 3 times 2. Okay, now I've got an i squared there. So that's going to turn this into a positive 12. So I've got negative 15i plus 12 minus 30 uh, minus 6i. So combining like terms, uh, we've got the 12 and the negative 30. Um, so that's going to be negative 18. And then of course, putting these together, we will have negative 21 i. And you should write your answer in this order. Put the imaginary term second. So that's the answer to C. For D, again, we are not allowed to have imaginary numbers in the denominator. Uh, but because we have a binomial, we can't just multiply by i. Instead, we have to multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. That's where you just change the, uh, the middle sign. So this will be 6 minus 3i would be the conjugate of 6 plus 3i. And you have to do the same thing in the numerator. So uh, 6 minus 3i again. So we will have to do the distributive property. Um, you know, some teachers say FOIL, but I just think of it as doing the distributive property twice. Uh, but anyway, we have to multiply a binomial times a binomial. So in the numerator, um, 2 times 6, so that's going to be 12. Um, let's see, inner, I have negative 24. Outer, I have negative 6. Um, so that's going to be negative 30i. And then when I multiply negative 4i times negative 3i, that is positive 12i 
squared. So that's what I have so far in the numerator. In the denominator, uh, 6 times 6 is 36. Inner, I have positive 18i. Outer, I have negative 18i. Those are going to cancel each other out. Maybe I'll just show it for one more second. All right, I have positive 18i. <clears throat> and I have negative 18i. So notice how those cancel each other out. And then I have uh, 3i times negative 3i, so that's negative 9i squared. So let's see what happens next. So this will be 12 minus 30i minus 12, because the i squared is a negative 1, which makes this a negative 12. OK, now I've got the 36. These canceled out, and this will become plus 9 because the i squared is a negative 1, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So let me bring the action back up to the top of the screen. Oh, look, 12 minus 12. That actually cancels out. That's interesting. So those are gone. So in the numerator, uh, I just have negative 30i. And uh, in the denominator, I have 45. So I should actually go ahead and simplify this. Uh, I notice that both of these are divisible by 5. So this would be uh, negative 6i divided by 9. OK, and then uh, both of these are divisible by 3. So I guess I could have divided by 15 in the first place. So that's going to be negative 2 over 3. So the final answer here should be negative 2i over 3. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe. Or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.